Is it a small thing for you to hear, man? But will you hear my God also? Therefore, the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Perfect, he says. Cannot be challenged. It's perfect. It is perfect. Oh, oh, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. Ever, never been changed, he says. It is always been. Okay, so but is, not all of it. There's is some the Quran, in the Quran eternal? Not all of it. Some of the the words in the Quran is not eternal. No. Exactly. So some oh. are, some are. Yeah. So well, for example, at Muhammad time, when the Quran uh, speaking about Muhammad or the Prophet, it's not eternal word of God. It was not the word, eternal word of God. This is not wow. eternal. No. As some it can, of it, it can be. So some has been corrupted. Not There's no corruption in the Quran. Not at all. Wow. Perfect. Quran wow. is perfect. The Quran perfect is perfect. He says. Cannot be challenged. It's perfect. Okay, it is so perfect. It is oh. Eternal. Right. The, the, the oh, it's God, perfect. The okay. Let me ask you this, Chris. Mm. So they've said that the Quran is perfect. Mm. It is eternal. Mm. It cannot be corrupted. Mm. It's not corrupted. Yeah. Mm. Has there been oh, one no. word or one letter changed? No. He says no. Has the words of the Quran ever been changed? No, it ever. Been never been changed, he says. Perfection. It has always been the same, says this Muslim. Perfection. He's saying that as well. And he says that as well. That's Two Muslims why, here but that believe it's eternal, not one word, not one letter. Who's the one who bends over? It has not been said, it has been preserved properly. Okay, Chris, we know that there have been some problems with the Quran. Absolutely, in fact, absolutely. Heard, and we found here at Speaker's Corner back in 2016. Yeah. How many Qurans did we have down here at that time? Was it 26? 26 Qurans. 26 Qurans. And what does that mean, 26 Qurans? Different Qurans, oh. right? Jay, were they just different translations? No. Were they just so what do we mean? Different Qurans. We mean that these Qurans are Arabic Qurans. And these Qurans were read by the Ummah. They were read by Muslims, by Imams in mosques, in masjids. They were reading different Arabic Qurans with different words. So these are Arabic Qurans. Absolutely. And these go back over a thousand years. Absolutely. They come from the 8th century, right? Yes, they do. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. So these are different Qurans. No two are alike. There is only one Quran that is oh. different. And which Quran is which the is different? different reciting, like the one in Morocco. There's a different recitation. Yeah, the but the letters are the same, right? Letters are the same. Yet these all have different letters, don't they? The ones I saw have different letters. How many Qurans did we say? We said 26. Actually, there are 30 of them that wow. we have found now. Right? We have found more. Even more Qurans have been found. More Arabic Qurans. No way, no way. And they had different dots and different vowels. They did. They are not the same, ladies and gentlemen. Muslims, if you're hearing this, there's at least 37 different Arabic Qurans with different words. And they can't predict. You have been lied to Muslims. You have been lied to for decades. You have been lied to Muslims. Chris, repeat that. Are you Muslims listening? So these are not translations. These are not different, as he says, linguistic dialects. Because dialects are oral. These are written texts. Absolutely, they are written. So these are not, you say potato, I say potato. We're not talking They're about that. Not talking about that at all. We're not talking about regional differences. We're talking about differences in writing. So this is not no, pronunciation. No, no, these are different I words, know. right? I, I mean, these these are different this. words. Completely. They are different words. Completely and different when words. You have a different yeah, words, it not. changes the meaning, does Absolutely. it not? Absolutely. And when it changes the meaning, it changes the doctrine, does it not? It does indeed. And when you change the doctrine, it changes the theology, right? It does change it, yes. And in even some cases, it changes the practice. It does, yes. So these are different theologies, different doctrines, and different practices. Yes. How 
many are there in these 30 Qurans? How many differences? There are tons of differences. Let me explain this to you now. There have been Arabic scholars who have produced translations of the Quran, the Hafs Quran, which is one of the 37 Qurans. And he has compared them with the other Qur'at, the other Qurans, which are all Arabic. And he points out in red in the text where they differ. They differ in words, in letters, in vowels. They differ in context. They differ in who's been referred to. They differ in plurality, singularity, all things. I can prove it. I can prove it, ladies and gentlemen. What are these, ladies and gentlemen? What are these? Are these English? Are they English? Do they look English to you? They aren't English. These are Arabic Qurans. So this one is called what, right? Quran. Quran. And this one is called Hafs, the one you refer to. Hafs Quran, yep. How many differences between these two Qurans? There are tons, tons of differences. Five thousand differences. Five thousand. Five thousand I couldn't words. count when I looked through it. So if there are five thousand different words, that means they are different meanings. Absolutely. And if you memorize this one, mm. you better be living in North Africa. That's where it is. That's where they use that Quran the one in Quran. Morocco. Mm. What's the date on the back there? 812. That's the day he died. Wow. So he died in 812. Yeah. Did, did he ever know Muhammad? No. Why not? Because Muhammad died in 832. 632. 632. Yeah. What's the date on the back of that one? 796. This is the official one. Wow. It is now memorized by 93%. Wow. Wow. Was it always that way? Hey. <laughs> your God William was it always that way. He died in the 796. Wow. So did he know Muhammad? Of course not. That's around 150 years after the death of Muhammad. How could Muhammad? he know Muhammad? No, no, he couldn't it's know Muhammad. Can you see a problem, folks? Yes. We have two different Qurans here. In Arabic. And there are 5,000 differences between these two Qurans. In the writing. These are Arabic Qurans, not in the That ain't English. That is Arabic. And if they're Arabic Qurans, they are original Qurans. Am I correct? Absolutely. I this one, I hope this one. Sure, sure. When Muslims, how are you going to explain this? Come on, explain this, Muslims. Suddenly there's silence. How many Qurans are there, Muslims? I don't know how to respond. How many? We have two here. No answers, Jay. The Muslims have no answers. All you need are these two. Because That's these it. are the most popular Qurans in the world. Yes. This is the one which was written just before 812. Yeah. And that is the uh, This one is written at the time of Muhammad. I have a proof from the Quran. You have a proof from yeah. the Quran. From yes. the Quran. Show me, show me the, the Quran. It was at the time of Muhammad. Hey, where, where does it say he lived? Where does it say he lived? No, no. Where did he live? Uh, the Surah Taha is saying here on 114, Exalted is God, the true King. Don't be hasty with the Quran before its inspiration to you is concluded. So it has been the only more. Where is the name? Where is the name? Where is Warsh name? It doesn't mention these. Where are these two Qurans mentioned there? It's not mentioned. I'm talking about this one. Not. That's the this is Warsh. Okay, real quick. This one has been inspired and written by uh, the time of Muhammad. Where did Warsh live? Where did he live? Warsh. This man. I don't care about Warsh. This he one lived has been in Cairo! Oh! He Whoa. lived in Cairo! It was not in the Hejaz. It was a down there. That's 1,200 miles away. So how did he know Muhammad? How did he hear Muhammad? Exactly. You, can you answer me this? I, I, I'm not a scholar. I can't tell you. He's not a scholar. You've got to learn this material, folks. Now hold on a minute. Back in 2016, there was a man here at Speaker's Corner who watched What was his name? 
Mohammed Hijab. He I was remember. right here, wasn't he? I remember. He's yes. a pretty big guy, isn't he? He is, very tall. He stands about six foot six. He does, he does. And he was in the crowd that day. He was. Do you remember what he did? Mohammed Hijab. He saw what Jay Smith and Hatun were bringing to the corner. What were they bringing? They were bringing all the different Qurans in Arabic. So 26 of them. That was eight years ago. What did Mohammed Hijab do? He, he went said, outside the group and he told all the Muslims to come to him. Come to him. Why did he do that? Because he couldn't deal with what they were bringing. Jay Smith, Hatun Tash brought the different Qurans and Mohammed Hijab could not deal with it. Your experts supposedly cannot deal with this at all. Muhammad Hijab had no answer, did he? No answer. He said, come to me. Don't look at what they're showing you. Don't listen to what they're saying. Now, that was in 2016. What happened in 2020? Muhammad Hijab, he was having doubts. So he went to talk to Dr. Yasser Kadi. What date was it? June 8th. June 8th. What is June the date today? June 8th. June, June, June 9th. June 9th. So yesterday, yeah. four was years ago. Four year anniversary. That's right. And what did he ask he, Dr. Kadi? He said to Yasser Kadi, he said, brother, I'm having doubts. Can you tell me if I give you a blank Musa, an empty hand, book? He gave, it, he gave his hand. He said, write the Quran for me. Which Quran will you write in my hand? Will and it be the Hafs? Will it be the Wars? Will it be the Kasai? Will it be the Ibn Kathir? Which one? What did Yasser Khani say? He said, don't ask me these questions, Aki. Don't ask this of me. Turn the camera off. We don't talk about this publicly. The scholars don't know this kind of thing. There's a red line that we don't go past for the Quran because we respect the Quran and we don't ask these kind of questions. Oh, no, you're going way too fast. Let's break that down a bit. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Hold on. No one knows what you're saying here. Yeah, yeah. So right away he says, don't ask me this question. Yeah. Turn off the camera. We don't talk about this in public. Why not? Can you see why he knows nothing about this? Because his scholars don't know about Can you see? The this. man behind him knows nothing about this. Because his scholars know nothing about this. Because they've never heard this. You've never heard this before, have you? I'm getting ready to his microphone. All Muslim, we have this Quran. We read this Quran. All of us, we use this one. No, no, all of you. What about this one? No, all of you. Marco, they use this one. This one has a three or four letters different. Because it's an Arabic Quran. How about 5,000? How about 5,000? There is. There is. You don't know. You don't even know where this guy was. Everyone. You don't even know. Okay, let's use this one. Even this one. So, this is your Quran, right? Thank you. How much? Real quickly. And it is present. Where did this man live? Muhammad. No, Hafs. Wait, Hafs. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This is our Quran. Which is true. This is the Quran that you use today. Yes. It's the Hafs Quran. Yes. Can you read that? That's the only Can you read it? You're a liar. You can read it. He's a liar. I can read Arabic. Okay. This is the one that Hafs used. Where was he born and lived? And when did he die? Okay, he's going to look up in his phone. He's not going to get an answer in his phone. Not going to find out. Why, folks? Hmm. Why is this so troubling for him? It's because he knows that there's meant to be just one Quran. This is what his scholars tell him. But we know there isn't one Quran. There are many. And he can't validate how Hafs or Rosh knew Muhammad because they didn't know Muhammad. They were born a hundred or so years later. Than Four Muhammad. years ago yesterday, mm. Yasser Khadi says, put away the camera. Put away the camera. Do not film me. Mm. We don't talk about this in public. Why not? That's why this man's never heard this argument. Exactly. exactly. He knew nothing about this. Mm. What did he say next? What did he say? about Al-Jazari and about the last thousand years. Al-Jazari, the greatest scholar on the Kira. Oh, al group. Jazari. This is called Kira. Do you know what we're talking about? Kira. The readings. There are different readings of the Quran. Different Arabic Qurans in a practical
logical sense. Yeah. But Muslims no, no, aren't no, told no, no, this. No, no, no. They are lied to. Shut they, down, I can show you, my friends. I will bring you proof. I will bring you and I will show the crowd the different translations in Arabic. I will show you. Now listen to me carefully. Listen. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. There were scholarly opinions that changed throughout time about what different Qurans were acceptable and what Qurans were not acceptable. For example, Al Jazari in the 15th century, he changed the amount of Qurans that Muslims are permitted to use in masjids from 7 to 10. He increased them in the 15th century. How is that possible, Muslims? Did you not know what the Quran was? Evidently not. Okay, here we go. So it was seven by Ibn Mujahid, yes. 936. Yes. Now we're in, let's go to the 12th century first. Let's go to Al Shafi. Yeah. Al Shafi, mm. because there was a problem with yes. the seven. Yes. What was missing mm. amongst the seven? The seven were in, in doubt about exactly which variant of those seven is the correct one. For example, this is not there. This ain't there. This is not. This ain't there. there. Asim would have been the there. Quran, he loves the most. So you would have had Asim there. Quran, yeah. you say, and the it wasn't there. It wasn't there. It's not. No. And that's the problem, wasn't it? Exactly. So I'll shut the beat. Two students from every one of those seven to transmit Asim's teachings. Why did he choose two? And why do they differ? Did you know Hafs, he disagreed with his teacher, Asim, on what the Quran was? Do you know that? He, he argued with him. His recitation was different from his own teacher. <laughs> Folks, can you see? This is the first time this man has heard it. He's never heard this before. But hold on a minute. No, I never thousands and thousands were watching that interview, weren't they? Absolutely, yes. And what did Asim Khani, the world's leading authority on the kid, what did he say next? He said, we put a red line. We put a red line. There are some things we don't question. There are some things we don't look into. Because if we did, there would be problems for the Ummah, for Muslims. And he said, don't ask me about this. Don't go past that red line. And that, my, lady, my friend, friend, ladies and gentlemen, is why Mohammed Hijab accidentally got Dr. Yasakari to say there are holes in the narrative. Holes in the narrative! Whoa. What holes and in what narrative? Standard Islamic, Islamic narrative. narrative. There are holes. Yeah. Wow. What does S-I-N spell? Sin. Sin. What do we hate? Sin. sin. We know. We know there are holes in sin. Aren't Absolutely. We? Without any question, there are issues with what Muslims have been told for the last few decades about your Quran. It is falsehood. You are being lied to. Don't believe Muslim lies. Yes. Now, we, we know. What Arab country is this? We have this problem with the Bible. Of course not. No. The reason why is we don't make this claim. Do we? we don't make this claim. We know that the Bible is not eternal. We, we don't say the Bible's eternal. We know that the Bible was not sent down. It was you written by men Jewish. here. Yeah, exactly. And we know their names, don't we? We do. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we know the names of these Gospels. Jesus. We know who wrote them. Jesus, you said the, David. The Moses, David, the Psalms. We know these things. So, we would not make that claim, right? We would not. What's claim? We know that at one time they were all complete. Am I correct? Correct. And we know that there have been changes here and there. There have been variants, because variants are normal when you have copyists. We know this. There's about 40 of them. Yeah. Okay? So if this is the case, out of 6,000 verses, there are 40 that are in doubt. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. So we would never make these claims about the Quran that he's made today. We would never make this at all. But is the Bible the only word of God? Absolutely. No, it isn't. There's another word of God. What's that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I got it. Oh, my God.
Oh. Isn't Jesus the Logos? He is in John 1. And isn't that the Word of God? Absolutely. And isn't Jesus the eternal Word of God? He is, yes. Number one, he is eternal, right? Yes, he is. Wasn't Jesus sent down? He was sent down. So number two, he was sent down. Isn't Jesus complete? He is complete, yes. So number three, he answers that one. Yep. And has Jesus never changed? He has never changed. He has never changed. Amen. Never. Jesus is what they are looking for. Exactly. Jesus is the answer to their problems. Reject his love. It is falsehood. Embrace the Lord Jesus Christ and come to him, the one who loved you before you were born. This is not the eternal word of God. No. But Jesus is. But Jesus is. He is our word of God. Amen. Who is the King of Kings? Jesus. There's 37 of them. Who's coming up? 37. Are you coming up? Yeah.